Hello again, year three. It's me, Mrs. McKee, back in the hut, ready for another one of our music videos. I hope you've been enjoying these, if you've managed to get hold of them on whatever you're viewing them on. A phone, a tablet, a laptop, a computer. And I really hope that you're ready to make some more Stone Age music. We've got a new song to learn today, and we're gonna look at a few more rhythm patterns. So we're going to start off with our hello song again, but we're going to do something a bit different with it this time. So let's see if you can just remember it, and then we'll do the something different. Off I go. H-E-L-L-O. This is how we say hello. Move your feet to the beat. Can you feel your heart beat? Well done you, good job. So, I hope you can remember it now, because this time I need you to do it in your thinking voice when you do the echo part, and also clap it with your hands. So it should sound like this. H-E-L-L-O. This is how we say hello. Do you get the idea? So I will still say the question, but your answer will be using your clapping hands and your thinking voice. All right, are we ready? My go first. H-E-L-L-O. This is how we say hello. Move your feet to the beat. Can you feel your heart? Beat. Did you get it? Shall we do it one more time? Are you ready? Off I go. H E L L O. This is how we say hello. Move your feet to the beat. Can you feel your heart beat? Could you hear how we were saying the words with our hands that time? So we were doing the pattern of long and short sounds, which is the rhythm. Okay, let's choose somewhere else to play that rhythm now. You could do it with your hands again if you like. You could tap your shoulders, you could tap your knees, you could do the end of your nose if you really wanted to. Find a place where it's going to be easy to do that rhythm. I'm going to do it on my chest. So, I'll say the question, you do the answer. Wherever you wish on your body, my go first. H-E-L-L-O. This is how we say hello. Move your feet to the beat. Can you feel your heart beat? I bet that sounded very interesting wherever you chose to play that rhythm. Well done you! So, next thing to do is to go back to the rhythm patterns that we did last week using our clicks, our stamp, our pat and our clap. Let's see if you remember the little chant that those actions fit with. First you make your fingers click, then you stamp your feet. Both hands pat your knees and clap to the beat. Shall we do it one more time, see if you can remember it. Ready, steady, off we go. First you make your fingers click, then you stamp your feet. Both hands pat your knees and clap to the beat. Did you get it? Let's try it a tiny bit faster. Are you ready? Off we go. First you make your fingers click, then you stamp your feet. Both hands tap your knees and clap to the beat. Did you get it? One little notch faster. Are you ready? Off we go. First you make your fingers click, then you stamp your feet. Both hands pat your knees and clap to the beat. Fabulous! Now there is actually a little tune to go with this and it sounds like this. First you make your fingers click, 
Then you stamp your feet, both hands, pat your knees and clap to the beat. I'll do it again, it goes like this. First you make your fingers click, then you stamp your feet, both hands, pat your knees and clap to the beat. I'll do a line, you do a line. Off I go. First you make your fingers click. You'll go, first you make your fingers click. Very good. Next uh, uh, line goes like this. Then you stamp your feet. You'll go, then you stamp your feet. I'm going to do those two together. Off I go. First you make your fingers click. Then you stamp your feet. You'll go, first you make your fingers click. Then you stamp your feet. Very good. Third line goes like this. Both hands pat your knees. Both hands pat your knees. Should we do that one again? Because it's quite high and quite low. Am I go first? Both hands pat your knees. Both hands pat your knees. And then the last phrase goes like this. And clap to the beat. To the beat. So line three and four. We'll go like this. Both hands pat your knees and clap. Oh, sorry, it's the other way around, isn't it? Both hands pat your knees and clap to the beat. You'll go. Both hands pat your knees and clap to the beat. Oh my goodness, I think my brain's gone to scrambled egg today. Let's see if I can do it right from the beginning. And if you want to join in, you can too. Off I go. First you make your fingers click. Then you stamp your feet, both hands, pat your knees and clap to the beat. How did you get on? One more time for luck. Off we go. First you make your fingers click, then you stamp your feet, both hands, pat your knees and clap to the beat. Give yourselves a round of applause if you manage to get that all the way through, remembering that we do the actions on the words that the actions match. So if you want to, you can rewind and go back and do that all over again. And once you've learnt it really brilliantly, you can see how fast you could get it. Okay, so I promised you a new Stone Age song today. And I asked you, I think last time, to go and find out a little bit about the, uh, the monument that this song is all about. Did you do that? Did you go off and find out a little bit of something about Stonehenge? Stonehenge, that magical, mythical, mysterious, marvellous monument made out of enormous stones that came all the way from Wales. This song is all about how they got the stones to Stonehenge and what they did with them when they got there. Okay, so it's called Moving the Stones and I'm going to attempt my new CD player. Let's see if this works. I've even got a little remote control. It's so exciting. Let's see if it works. And I'm just going to play you the first verse. Cross fingers. Here we go. No, it's not going to do it. Let me fast forward. And there we go. Let's hope you can hear it. <coughs> Quarry the stones are boiling bones. Working together far from our homes. Singing a song as we trudge along. machine if it kills me. That's the very first verse. Could you hear it's got a really trudgy kind of pulse to it all the way through. So what I'm going to do now is play it one more time for you and I want you to trudge along like those poor work men probably who had to get those enormous stones all the way from Wales to Wiltshire, to where they built Stonehenge. I want you to trudge all the way along. Let me see if it works. I'm going to see if I can rewind. And go from the beginning. So trudging with me. Here we go. Quarry the stones from the linking bones. Working together far from our homes. Singing a song. As we trudge along, we're all quarrying the stones. There 
we go. Did you feel how slow and trudgy that pulse was? Shall we learn how it goes now? My go first. Quarry the stones, our poor aching bones. You'll go. Quarry the stones, our poor aching bones. So quarry is a word that you might not have heard before. When folks need to get some, uh, any kind of shape of stones really, maybe even those paving stones that you might have on a patio, all the sorts of stones you might see at the side of the road, all the most enormous stones like Stonehenge, they will have had to have come from a quarry. So it's a big hole in the ground where people are very, very cleverly splitting up the rock to make into stones that we can use. And sometimes they use dynamite. They explode it all and see what shapes they get. Obviously they didn't have dynamite, did they, in the Stone Age? They were so clever. They had to use little wooden pegs and probably maybe stone axes, stone hammers, maybe even reindeer antlers to split the stone apart. You can go and find out a bit more about that. So quarry the stones is what we mean there. We're going to be splitting the stones ready to be used. So I'll sing it again. Quarry the stones, our poor aching bones. You'll go. Quarry the stones, our poor aching bones. Next phrase goes like this. Working together far from our homes. You'll go. Working together far from our homes. Let's do those two together. My go first. Quarry the stones, our poor aching bones. Working together far from our homes. You'll go. Quarry the stones, our poor aching bones, working together far from our homes. Good job! Now the next two lines are very, very similar to the first two, and it goes like this. Singing a song as we trudge along. You'll go, singing a song as we trudge along. Did you get that? And then the very last line goes, we'll all quarry the stones. You'll go, we'll all quarry the stones. So those two together are, singing a song as we trudge along. We'll all quarry the stones. You'll go, singing a song as we trudge along. We'll all quarry the stones. Okay, so you should have got an idea of how that tune goes because there are some similar patterns all the way through. I'll do it first, then it's your go, and then we'll do it with the music. My go first. Quarry the stones, our poor aching bones. Working together far from our homes. Singing a song as we trudge along. We'll all quarry the stones. You do it with me. Quarry the stones, our poor aching bones. Working together far from our homes. Singing a song as we trudge along. We'll all quarry the stones. I hope you got that. Let's see if my machine works. We're gonna go from the beginning. We're gonna trudge all the way through and sing that first verse. Okay, here I go. Yes. I think it worked. Oh, no. Wrong track. <laughs> here we go. Quarry the stones from the pointing bones Working together far from our homes Singing a song as we trudge along first one. That's the sort of tune that is going to stick in your head for the next week I expect. So when I see you next time we'll learn the other verses exactly the same tune but it tells you all the different processes 
that those stones would have gone through to get to make Stonehenge. So if you didn't before, go and find out a little bit more about Stonehenge and how they got those enormous rocks all the way from Wales to Wiltshire. And we'll finish that off next time. Okay, so I hope that you might have got some percussion instruments with you this time. If you haven't, press pause and go and find something you can play. It really doesn't matter. It could be a shaker. It could be two spoons tapped together. I really don't mind. Okay, so off you go and you're back. Fantastic. Okay, so we're going to look at those nut and berry cards that we started to have a look at last time. I've got two rhythms made out of those nut and berry cards. We're going to see if you can remember how they go and if you can play them with your percussion. Okay so let's see if I can do two things at once. I'm going to see if I can hold the board with these two rhythms on and cross fingers you can see them quite clearly. Okay and then with my other hand I've got my sprinkle shaker here I'm going to see if I can play those two rhythms one at a time. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four, and then we're going to see if we can play and say that first rhythm at the top. So if you remember, nut is a long sound, berry is two short sounds together. Okay? So shall I do the first one and then see if you can join in? One, two, three, four. Nut, berry, berry, nut. Are you ready to join in? Two, three, four. Nut, berry, berry, nut. Let's do it one more time. Just that top line on two, three, four. Nut, berry, berry, nut. If you did that right, let's carry on to the next line. We're going to count four again. Remember that they're different sounds for different pictures. Why go? One, two, three, four. Nut, nut, berry, nut. Let's see if you can join in. Two, three, four. Nut, nut, berry, nut. Did you do it? Very good. Let's see if we can do one line and then the next line straight away. So as soon as you get to this nut at this end, go straight down to here and do the nut there. So we won't have a gap in between. So instead of four counts, it will last for eight counts. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Nut, berry, berry, nut, 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 berry, nut. Let's try it again, just in case it went a bit wonky. One, two, three, four. Nut, berry, berry, nut, 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 berry, nut. How did you get on? Was that easy? I hope so. We've got a new challenge now. <gasps> the magic of technology. I'm just going to turn the board upside down. Okay, so now you can see we've got a different rhythm up here different combination of short and long sounds, berries and nuts. But then I've got four blank squares there. You are going to fill in the blank squares. I would like you to take your musical instrument if you have one. If you don't, you could just tap your invisible clays or you can just say the words. I'm going to say this four beat pattern at the beginning and then I want you to make up your own four beat pattern. So should I show you what it might look like at home with you doing this? Okay, so this will be the pattern that I do. It's like a question and then I'm going to use my other hand to do an answer. I wonder if I can swap over quickly enough. Do you get the idea? Okay, so here I go. Very nut. Very nut, 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 nut. That was a really easy one, but it was four counts. Do you see what I mean? Okay, so it's your turn now. 
I'm going to give you a couple of moments just to think about what pattern you might do. Hmm. Combination of berries and nuts. Ready? Steady? I'll do the question first. Off I go. Your go? Did you get something? Did you get a combination of berries and nuts there? Let's try it one more time. My go first. Your go. Did you make sure that your new pattern only used those four counts for those four cards? Four beats. One beat for each card. Shall we just do one more? Go mad. You could do all berries if you wanted to. My go first. Excellent. There's a little thing that you could practice at home. You could get somebody to do a question of a rhythm for you and you can make up your own answer. And if you want to play it with your junk percussion, even better. Fabulous. Okay, so we're really getting to uh, understand what those berries and nuts symbolise. That's a good word. What they're showing us uh, and working out what they sound like. Fabulous. I think we're going to finish off today with another body percussion song. It's one of my favourites. It's very silly. It's about a man called John Kanakanaka. Can you say that? John Kanakanaka. Fantastic. If you can say that, then you should be able to play that. That's the first pattern that we're going to learn. We're all going to stand up. Every time you say the word John, you need to stamp on the floor. John, when you say Kanakanaka, you are going to say his name one hand at a time by patting your knees. Kanakanaka. You do it. Kanakanaka. Again. Kanakanaka. So those two sounds together will go, John, Kanakanaka. You do it. John, Kanakanaka. One more time. Off we go. John, Kanakanaka. Super. Now we've got another nonsense word. And for this, you've got to clap your hands. It goes like this. Tuli. And then we're going to go A by popping our hands up in the air. Tuli. You do it? Tuli. A. Fab. So from the beginning, it will go off I go. John. Kanaka naka tuli. A. You do it. John. Kanaka naka tuli. A. One more time, just to get it really brilliant. I'm not going to say the words this time. I want to hear you do them. And I'm going to make the sounds. Off we go. Did you do it? Smashing. The brilliant thing about this song is that happens at the end of every sentence. So the only thing that you need to learn now is the bit that goes in between. It does have a melody to it. It does have a tune and have some other actions. But today, all I want you to do is do the actions for the John Kanakana part, okay? So I'll sing the tune and you do the actions for each time you hear John Kanakanaka. Okay, so beginning of the song goes like this. Off we go, I heard, I heard the old man say, John Kanakanaka to Lee Today, today's a holiday. John Kanakanaka to Lee to Lee to the A, you do it. John, can I can I to the A, to the A, to the A, you do it. John, can I can I to the A. So did you hear? It was a little bit like a call and response song. I do the call, the little question, and then you're doing the response. You're doing the answer by doing John at the end of every single phrase. Okay? 
So maybe you've picked up the tune to John Kanaka Naka now and you can join in with that. I'll do it one more time for you. Goes like this. John Kanaka Naka Tuli A. You'll go John Kanaka Naka Tuli A. It's the same every time. So let's do it again, one more time, all the way through. And I want you to sing and do the actions for John Kanakanaka this time. Off we go. I heard, I heard the old man say, John Kanakanaka to the A. Today, today's a holiday. John Kanakanaka to the A. To the A, to the A, John, Kanaka Naka to the A, to the A, to the A, John, Kanaka Naka to the A. That didn't seem so hard. If you want to, you can rewind to the beginning of that section and you can learn the little bits that are in between the calls to do the responses with. But if you don't get time to do that, we'll have a go at that next week. So lovely to see you all again. I hope you're all well. I hope you stay safe, look after each other, and I shall see you next time. Bye.